Hey, it's Lon Seidman, and we're checking out this HDMI extender kit from Monoprice today. And I bought this because uh, we just moved into a new office at my day job, and we wanted to hook up a TV on one end of the room and then have all the stuff we plug into the television on the other end of the room. And we needed something uh, that was longer than uh, what you can usually get out of HDMI. So I found this kit. And what this does is you uh, plug your HDMI source into here, and then it basically pops that signal out via HD base T over a standard Cat5 or Cat6 patch cable, and it will go all the way over to the other unit here. Uh, they say you can get about 330 feet or so. I think it's like 328 feet. Uh, so certainly a lot longer than you would get with a standard HDMI cable. And we're going to do a live test here in a minute. Now, this, this kit costs a little bit more than some of the other ones that I looked at. But the reason why I was attracted to it is that it uses the HD base T standard, uh, which they say, at least in the marketing online, uh, will support 4K televisions. We bought a 4K TV for this conference room. I can't wait to show it to you when we get it in on Monday. Uh, so we'll see how well that works for 4K. But what we are going to do today, though, is test in my studio uh, how well it works broadcasting something from the other end of my house. Now, there's a couple of neat little features that this also has on board, uh, one of them being that it's got uh, networking in addition to the HDMI. So what you can do is plug in uh, your network, your internet, onto one end here, and it will pop that Ethernet out on the other end. So it basically takes that signal, combines it with the HDMI, and then it splits it back out on the other side. So you could run a single cable and be able to get uh, your network and your video uh, broadcast to the other side of the room. The only issue is that it is only 100 base T. So if you're doing some really high-end stuff between the two, you may want to run an additional cable uh, to get your gigabit Ethernet going. The other neat thing I liked about this is that it also has an IR blaster. So what I can do is transmit my remote control input from uh, one end of the room or one end of the house to the other, which is kind of cool as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go run upstairs and hook this up along with a camera. And we're going to see if I can control that camera and view it uh, from down here in the basement. We've got a 75-foot Cat6 cable that I'm going to run this across. And let's see what happens. All right, we've got my Cat6 cable here. This is actually the same exact cable I used to connect gigabit Ethernet upstairs. I just rerouted it uh, to these devices. So I'm going to plug it into this. And let's see if it comes up. There we go. We've got ourselves a, a 1080i signal being transmitted from upstairs, and the remote even works too, which is pretty cool. So I'm controlling the remote uh, down here in the basement. It's going through this 75-foot cable uh, up to the uh, receiver or the transmitter on the other end, and uh, the HDMI video is coming in through this cable uh, over to the box here. This seems to work uh, as advertised. Plug and play, not too hard to do, and I think this is going to be a great solution for uh, my conference room. Now, for those of you watching who are following me for my uh, continuing adventures with all the broadcast equipment I use down here in my basement studio, this did not work with my Blackmagic ATEM, so I don't think it's going to be a good solution for uh, a extension of you know, a camera for a remote location just because it didn't seem to come up right away. I had to run it uh, through my scaler first. But if you're in a home theater environment or you're just looking to uh, transmit something to a television, uh, this is going to work fine for all those applications. I just wouldn't use it in a production environment. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.